team it up right there. How much better does that in particular make this defense and, and make it easier on other guys around it? Well, that's a long question. Right, so I don't remember <laughs> I the first part. Well, just but here, how, I'll talk, how much I'll talk better about is the that. way that those, those two guys I, I, are playing? Yeah. Uh, you know, year two in the system, there's been a lot of growth from a knowing what to do standpoint. And then, you know, that allows you to play with confidence, and confidence allows you to play faster, and more physical, and more aggressive. And uh, both of those guys have done that. But at the same time, with the role that Danny has uh, assumed or about whatever to, to off the field, you know, the, yeah. the growth off the he's probably grown as much as any player between first year and second year that I've ever coached as far as what he's how he's developed off the field. And, and it's because he put so much into it. He put so much time and effort into it and the details. And uh, it's very prideful. He's playing really well right now. We need him to continue to do that. And, to get better as, as we move forward. It's only four games, but the growth of this defense, is it not necessarily been surprising? I mean, I, I don't know, I don't think you would say it's been surprising, but has it been just fun to watch them come together? Yeah, I, I get a sense that uh, that they're playing for each other. And, you know, when, when guys do that, because they respect the work that they've put in, and when you respect another man, you can fight for another man. And they've done that, they're starting to do that, and again, I know I say this every week, but we got a long way to go. And, uh, you know, but proud of them and at the same time enjoy the, the win. And then tomorrow, go back to fixing it and, and work on getting better next week. Where's this make? unit made the biggest strides compared to last season? Um, I think uh, maybe playing through some, some adversity, being able to handle some adversity. Uh, because, you know, regardless of what happened to that football team last week, you know, they're, they're, they're a good football team, but, but it's used to winning. And like I said, used to winning at home. I uh, lost two games in the last five years here. So uh, we knew this, there was going to be a, a lot of strain, a lot of opposition today, and, and there was. But, uh, you know, we, we overcame it and fought through some things and, and made plays when we needed to make them. And as a result of that, we're walking out of here 4-0. What did yeah. you make of uh, the way Desan played today after not playing for a few weeks? Yeah, you know, uh, a guy that, you know, had come in and learned the system and then like you said, was injured and didn't play, and then came back and played and assumed a bigger role. Uh, I, th I thought he, I, pl I thought he played well, and you know, I expect him to continue to grow and get better because he's still. I mean, he's a second-year guy. He's a true sophomore. So, you know, to, to, to see what the development with him and moving forward with that position is something that uh, you know we need and we expect, and, and so does he. For a guy like Reggie Grimes to come in, hasn't probably played as much as he thought he might going into the season, but. He made some impact plays today. Is that just kind of another sign that everybody's bought in on that side of the ball? Well, again, and I know I say this about a lot of guys, but it's the truth. Reggie's put a lot of work into it off the field as far as preparing, getting himself ready. So when his opportunity came, regardless if it is as much as what some people may have thought, he was ready for it. And uh, you know, made some big plays for us today. Proud of him and, and look forward to the continued development and growth. As much as Danny's uh, grown, how much has Key Lawrence grown? Substantially. Yeah. Uh, substantially uh, from an execution standpoint, from a reliability standpoint, and uh, he's having fun and he's being a great teammate and, uh, you know, uh, again, just having fun playing football. Brent uh, said in his press conference that uh, talk, was asking about or talking about how many players y'all played defensively today, and Brent said would have liked to have maybe got some, oh, some more guys in. Is that, that depth that y'all talked about, uh, you know, really for the last nine, ten months, showing itself, uh, you know, as you play games like this? Yeah, you know, we, we did. We were able to play some guys there. Uh, and like I said, would have liked to have played more because, you know, several guys have, have earned that. And, you know, sometimes there's not enough reps for everybody to go around. But, uh, yeah, so that's part of being a great teammate. Nice to have that, though, versus looking around, trying to figure out who you can throw in there. Correct. <laughs> Correct. You think you guys have been able to put this type of performance together a year ago without two starters and Reggie and Justin? I, I don't know, man. You know, yeah. I, comparing last year to this sure. year and the teams, I, I don't get into that. I just worry about what's happening right now. And we learned, certainly learned from last year and, you know, gotten better and moving on.